Welcome everybody, it's Tellum, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the Keeper Protector inside Revelation. So this thing is pretty much the Civil Protector from Shadows of Evil. It is, it, all it will do is just kill zombies, and then it'll also revive you, so that's pretty cool. It's all that good stuff, but I know I should have made this video a long time ago, but the reason I am making it kind of late now, because we actually know this is actually to the second step to supposedly the main Easter Egg. We're pretty sure it's the main Easter Egg, but we can't be 100% sure at this point but of course I'll be showing you how to build it and I was going to make the video on the main Easter egg step but my first time it worked perfectly everything just went so smooth and then I got a connection interruption on solo and my internet didn't go down but a connection interruption on solo just think about that 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 can't happen if your internet goes off on solo it doesn't say connection interruption it just doesn't do that but anyways in my other tries I it just wouldn't work I have no idea why I shot the stones and everything but hopefully they have a video on that soon I'm not too sure if I'll have it today or tomorrow but enough rambling about that of course I'll be showing you guys all the possible spawn locations for each three of this of the items and of course there's three three spawns for each and we'll be getting to that right now of course like you guys already know these you can pick these up in any order but let's get right into this so the first one i'm going to be showing you is going to be in the kino slash the rise Draka area and of course you guys probably seen this one and this is by the giant premise statues and you guys can actually see it's inside one of these buckets this pink one is kind of hard to miss in this area pretty obvious it's right there and then the next one we're actually going to look at is actually in the middle of the zero gravity room and as you guys can see it's going to be right there like between all the rubble and all the stuff just right there you, you guys can see in the gameplay don't worry about it then the next one I couldn't actually get to spawn in this location of course I just played three times and I got really lucky actually besides this one all the other ones have all the possible spawn locations as you guys can see on this table where I shoot is where a lot the last spawn for that part would be now the next one is going to be the skull on stop boy pretty much so it's really cool but unfortunately we can't use it but it's a part to this altar piece and as you guys can see the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is Inveructed second floor next to the jump pad and it's going to be on this wheelchair you guys will be able to see in the gameplay then the next one is is just outside Verruckt so in the middle of Verruckt and up the stairs in this really dark area and again it's going to be on top of the wheelchair now the last one is going to be on the first floor right next to the speed cola and as you guys can see right on the shelf and go ahead and pick that up now for the last piece we're going to be getting it's actually the flag from shadows of evil which is really interesting and as you guys can see this is in the origins area of the map kind of next to the VMP just right to the side of it you'll be able to see it just right here and you go ahead and pick it up then the next one's upon the mound or where pack punch was inside origins and as you guys can see it's going to be right here because so go ahead and pick that one up too of course you're only picking up one of these but and for the last one is going to be in the mob of the dead area in the cafeteria next to meal kick and then of course once you've picked all these up you can actually build this in three separate places I'll have gameplay of all of them so there's going to be one in Varuk and then there's going to be another one inside origin the origins area i should say and then you have the last one inside the rise of the rock area next to the primus statue so it's pretty cool all this stuff and once you build it in one area it'll be built in all three areas so you can activate at any of them so these are stationary you just walk up to it it'll cost 5,000 points which is the absolute ripoff of course but anyways you just go ahead and build that and of course you probably aren't really going to use it unless you're going for the easter egg and i know it's it's just really dumb i can't get it to activate right now i really wanted to but i couldn't but that's what i'll pro i would probably use it for just for the easter egg part of course i'll leave you guys off with some gameplay of it not too much but it's something so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and thumbs up and if you guys did want to stay tuned for more easter egg stuff well this was really a tutorial for maybe a non-easter egg thing but anyways if you guys want to stay tuned for more tutorials easter eggs storyline quotes especially those have been very successful for me lately and for anything really like that for revelations go ahead and subscribe but i'm gonna go and i will catch you guys on my next video for a supposedly righteous creature you do kill most violently i see you do not like hell pigs either that is good i like your killing methods is there a keeper application form I can fill out? <laughs>